I learned a few things with May Day. This is the 46th Me and Mickey vlog, and this is all about May Day or Lay Day, which is celebrated in Hawaii. And I have to say, other than being aware of what lays are, I didn't really know the significance of them or why they were given to people. And I learned a bit. I obviously won't spoil all of the facts that Mickey shares in this very short short, but um, I thought it was pretty educational. And the bulk of it is actually taken up with learning how to do a hula. I'll be honest, I feel like they could have had a bit more music in that section to make it a bit more engaging. It felt like it was a little bit disjointed, but generally speaking, the movements should be pretty easy for young children to follow. I think it's something that children can copy when they're sitting down, which is one of the great things about the dances in Me and Mickey, because um, there are several times when he teaches dance moves. A lot of them are moves that can be done while seated. It makes it more inclusive for you know children or viewers who um, are unable to move around if they're younger or they've got reduced mobility. So credit where it's due, I think that's fantastic. But I feel like the, the music could have been a bit more dominating there. Um, it would have also been a better way to focus on some traditional Hawaiian music as well. There are a couple of other missed opportunities. For example, Mickey, Mickey asks the viewer what their favourite colour of flower is. And we have some beautiful floral animations, but he doesn't name any of the colours. So there's a missed opportunity for learning there. But it's nice that there's some viewer involvement. Um, it's very nice setup. We have a lot of cardboard um, palm trees and things in the background. So visually it's very pretty. Mickey is of course wearing a lei and a kind of, well I was going to say a traditional Hawaiian shirt. I don't know if it's traditional from Hawaiian culture, but certainly uh, stereotypical I guess. Um, so it's a good episode and an educational. There are some um, you know language opportunities, the opportunity for the dancing and things. So it's definitely a really, really thorough episode. Maybe a few missed opportunities, but generally not bad.